I've seen a few people out there covering the Hive Thrall statues in the new Ghosts of the Deep dungeon, which, if you didn't know, are how you unlock the exotic catalyst for the new dungeon exotic. Here's what I'm not seeing anyone talk about, though. If you don't have the dungeon exotic yet and you help another player unlock their exotic catalyst, you actually improve your own RNG at getting the dungeon exotic. If you examine the Ghosts of the Deep triumphs, you'll notice that many triumphs can help improve your RNG at getting the dungeon exotic, but the Hive Thrall statue method is not mentioned anywhere here. So basically what we have here is a hidden way to boost your exotic dungeon drop RNG even higher than what you can already get by doing these extra triumphs. We do believe the extra RNG given by doing this hidden quest is temporary, aka once you do it when you're in the dungeon, you must then finish your dungeon run in order to take advantage of that extra given RNG. You should also do this on a fresh run on a character who hasn't done their dungeon run that week because again, you can only have one shot per character to unlock the exotic to begin with. But yeah, TL DR, extra free RNG that isn't mentioned in the triumphs. All you got to do is activate the three thrall statues, which I'll show you how to do right now. Important though, you need somebody in your fire team to have the exotic unlocked in order to do this. We tried doing a fire team of three where nobody had the exotic and we weren't able to activate the ghost shell pile. So if you can have someone with the exotic in the fire team, because everyone will benefit from you doing this. Okay, so three statues and statue number one can be found in the very opening encounter. You have to actually complete the opening encounter first before doing this, by the way, you can't activate the statue first. So after beating the opening encounter, follow my route right here. and dive into the tree line on your left. You'll know you're going the right way because there will be a lot of lucent moths in the area trying to blow up and kill you. Drop down into the underground tunnels and keep going until you see this slightly ajar red glowing door. There's a ghost shell pile behind that door on the floor. Activate it and now you have the vestige power. You need to find a nearby thrall statue and dunk the power into the statue. The first statue is essentially on the other side of the cave entrance where all the moths were chasing you. Go around the big green mountain or you can go up and over it if you want but find the thrall statue and dunk the power now you're gonna fight some hive just like the opening encounter the hive boss will have a symbol above his head there should be several mini bosses in the area find the one whose symbol matches up with the hive boss and kill the mini boss then stand in the green goo pile on the floor in order to de-shield the boss damage the big guy until he flees the area and you are now done with statue one statue number two can be found up ahead during the underwater jumping puzzle section. When you find the statue on the cliff wall off to the left, you're actually going to go past it in order to first find and activate the dead ghost pile. Keep going and eventually you're going to go through a water wall that will look like this and you're going to have to kill a bunch of hive in a small room. Up on the cliff wall on the far right where the boomer knights were shooting at you, that is where you're going to find the next ghost shell pile. Activate the ghost pile, then turn around and go back the way you came. Slowly scale the platforms going up the wall on the right side and go back through the water wall again Again, we're going back the way we came at this point, and the statue is where you passed it to begin with in this wide open room where you can wield your weapons over on the right side of the wall now. Same thing as before, dunk the power and do what we did at statue one until you damage the boss until he goes away. Statue three is at the end of the final jumping puzzle right before the final boss fight. Be warned that this final statue is the hardest one to do by far. The ghost shell pile is at the very beginning of the jumping puzzle area off to the right, and the statue again is at the very end of the room way up high. One of the reasons it's so hard is that when you activate the final ghost shell pile, all the trash enemies in the room will respawn, even if you killed them already to begin with. So you're going to need to move very quickly to the end of the room. You can either have your teammates try to help you kill ads while you move quickly, or you can do maybe shatter skating if you're very good at that, or you can do what we did, use a camo hunter. Sneak your way to the end, jump way up high on the structure, and dunk the power. The final battle is very condensed and pretty annoying if I'm being honest. Also, so be extra warned. Do your absolute best to not wipe during the statue three fight. I've heard from people that if your entire team wipes, there's a good chance you're going to respawn at the beginning of the final boss encounter. And there's no way to go back the way you came. Meaning if your team wipes, you have to do the whole statue thing over again from the beginning. And you don't want to do that. When you finish the final statue boss fight, whoever in the fire team has the exotic should now get the catalyst. And whoever doesn't will get the message indicating that their exotic RNG is now 
now increased. TLDR, next week at reset, if you can, try and get someone into your fire team who has the exotic but doesn't have the catalyst so you can improve your RNG and maybe get it to drop. Thank you very much for watching and share with a fire team member near you. Peace. <laughs>